Hello everyone, welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be talking about how to fix the JNI error when starting a Minecraft server. This is a uh, simple little error, I'm going to mention it in most of my server tutorials, but for those of you who don't watch our tutorials to fix your, you know, create your servers, here's how you can fix this little issue. First and most, I do want to say that this video is brought to you by Apex Minecraft Hosting, and on Apex you don't have to worry about little issues like this, they're all taken care of by Apex themselves. All you have to do on Apex is start your server and then add plugins if you want, add mods if you want, worry about managing your server, not about fixing issues like this, Java issues, DDoS, all that stuff. Apex takes care of it for you. They also have 24 hours, 7 day a week support, so should you have an issue on your server, you can reach out anytime, day or night for some support. We love and trust Apex so much, we also own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them, so we truly put our money where our mouth is when it comes with Apex Minecraft hosting. Check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Now, here's the deal. This issue is... Pretty simple. I'm going to start a Minecraft server here, and basically we get an error, right? When you double click on this, we get this error. It's a JNI error has occurred. Java Virtual Machine Launcher. Please check your installation and try again. And you might be like, what? This is weird. I've always been able to start Minecraft servers in the past. And actually, I have a vanilla 1.16.5 server here, for example, and this should work, right? We can double click on server.jar and it's going to open up. It's going to work like there are no problems. This is new for 1.17 servers, right? The reason for this is because Java switched from Java 8 to Java, you know, basically the most recent version of Java. Now, Java 8 will still work to run Minecraft, but the back end is not going to work anymore. You're going to need Java 16, which I'm going to show you how to get here. First, though, let me go ahead and uh, do a real quick jump cut. I need, to, I need to stop this server. There we go. That server is now stopped. As you can see, it worked on our 116 server, but on the 117 server, double click on server.jar, it's not working. We do have the ELA.txt file in there. This is a Java exception has occurred. How do we fix this issue? Well, it's honestly pretty simple, right? I ran into this while I was doing my Minecraft server tutorial, and this tutorial right here is outdated. I'm going to make a new tutorial that goes right there. It's going to be uploaded a little later, but I wanted to get this one out pretty soon because I figured a lot of you would be having issues with this, right? So, nevertheless, here, as you can see, this is our Java tutorial, and it's all been updated. It's now all changed from what it was before to how to get the correct version of Java for servers and mods. So when you come here, click on this yellow download link, and when it, you click on that link, it's going to take you here, which is a new download page for the Java SE Development Kit 16, which is what you need to run not only Minecraft servers, but I'm guessing Minecraft mods moving forward. I've seen Forge, and they are going to be upgrading as well. So it's something we need to look at. So nevertheless, let's come over here to the right-hand side, and we want to find the Windows X. 64 installer. Click on the little download link to the right of that. It's then going to come up and say, I accept the, you know, do you accept these terms of service? We do. And click download. It's then going to go ahead and start downloading down here in the bottom left of Google Chrome. Now, you shouldn't need to keep this file. Oracle's a very trusted developer, but you might need to save it on Mozilla Firefox because I believe they make you save everything. But on Google Chrome, it's probably just going to download. If you do need to keep it, it's 100% safe. Oracle are the developers of Java, 100% above board there. Now, if we go ahead and minimize our browser. If we go ahead and refresh my desktop, we will see here is the JDK. Right there, it is. If this isn't on your desktop, it's going to be in your downloads folder, which you can find by clicking the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Go on the little Windows icon in the top bottom left of your screen, type in downloads. You got a downloads file folder here, and then you will find the JDK in this file folder. I'm going to drag to our desktop though, because that's just easier. Now, here's the deal let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and try this one more time. We're going to try just to show you that this is what's going to fix this. So, if we double click on server.jar, we get this error. You know, it plays the error noise, and a JNI error has occurred. Please check your installation and try again from the Java Virtual Machine Launcher. And then we do get another error there that a Java exception has occurred, right? So nevertheless, let's go ahead now and double click on the JDK we downloaded, right? Just double click on this right here. And this is the Java development kit. So it's going to go ahead, kind of load up an installer here. Might take it a second, but that's okay. Basically, it's just going through and loading up an installer, preparing to install, and then it's going to open up this. Now, as you can see, it's a really easy widget. You just click next and then click next again, and then it's going to install Java SE development kit. Now, it might ask me some weird stuff because I have already fixed this and then undid what I did in order to do this tutorial for you all. That's what we go through here. That's okay. But nevertheless, as you can see, it's copying new files, getting everything set up, and then it's going to eventually finish. And when it does, it's instant. It's instantaneous. You may have to reset your computer, but I did not. So we can go ahead and click close here. And as I say reset, I mean restart. So just, you know, restart, boom, your computer, no big deal. You're going to be good. But as you can see here, server.jar, double click on it and it works. That simple, that easy. As you can see, it's now opening up and getting everything launched. It's no longer giving us that JNI error. So I just wanted to upload this really, really fast, really, really quick tutorial. Nothing over the top. I'm going to be doing a more in-depth tutorial, giving you a few more strategies on different things that could go wrong with Java. But uh, this is just for this simple error, and I wanted to upload it because uh, I think a lot of people are going to be having it today and over the next few months, making a Minecraft server. If they've not made one in the past or if they have 
have and they need to update their Java. Again, our tutorial for Java will be updating, but for right now, this is going to kind of serve as the basic tutorial before a big tutorial comes out. So, so there you go, your Minecraft 1.17 server is now live. I do apologize for any choppiness or lag that happened after I started this server. Unfortunately, my computer just can't keep up anymore with these modern Minecraft servers. We've got a new computer that we're going to be making this summer, but we're just not quite there yet. Got to get through this version. This will be the last version. We're hoping we get it in before 1.17. I'm just rambling it now, but there you go. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Come play this on our server, playdownbreakdowncraft.com, and check out Apex if you want to create a server without these headaches. However, we are here to help when they do happen. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and type stop. Stop that server. I'll see you in the next video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Peace.